Now, if all the world's a stage, you should make the most of it. And that's what's been happening thanks to Strictly's global appeal. Let's take a look at how they do things differently in Australia. Strictly Come Dancing fever has spread across the world. Australia has been making its version of the show since 2004. And after a hiatus in 2015, it came back earlier this year. And is a familiar face to the latest series. He's a dancer, a choreographer, and from all reports, he's a bit of a hard ass. I caught up with Craig to get all the goss on how they do it down under. Fab, you look. How did you feel when you got asked to do it? I loved it because, of course, my whole family is from Australia. And coming back, everyone was saying, oh, where's this Brit from? You know, why do we need him? And also, I was telling them honestly and boldly how bad their dancing was. I thought it was a complete dance disaster. I was hated for the first week. My mum <laughs> was telling me off. So my sisters, they're saying, please, Craig, we've got to live in this country. Please, like, can you tone it down? Oh, shut up. Then, you know, get them. What they learned to do was love me. Yes, yes, whatever. <laughs> Their latest series made history. Ta-da! Hi. Hi. By including the show's first ever male same-sex couple. You're expecting a woman, weren't you? Little. With Shane Jenick as his drag alter ego, Courtney Act, and his partner, Josh Keith. <laughs> Biologically, we were a same-sex couple, but visually we were an opposite-sex couple because I was in drag the whole time. But then for our fusion dance, I danced as a boy. It was stunning to see you two out there doing that, and this is a first. You truly are good value. Well done. What are the biggest differences between Strictly Here and Dancing with the Stars Australia? The dance-off in Australia is different to the dance-off here. You just go head-to-head -head with the very same dance. I think it's great because the people at home can make a direct comparison. Do you have themes in Australia and group dances? Yeah, they'll do heartfelt themes. Something really personal to them and that helps the audience understand who that person is. Our tango, where I went from Courtney to Shane. Think about all of the young queer people out there watching who might see themselves reflected back on television. I can only do it for like my 14 year old self who didn't have that. We had judges performance. I was on Craig's team and we did a group performance with Craig. Welcome to hell. You choose two couples and you have to create a number, a routine for them. I didn't hear your grunt. And you have to star in it yourself. <laughs> and of course, Craig couldn't be satisfied that I was the glamorous drag talent on the show and he had to get into drag as well. I've got a 10, darling. Of course, I would expect nothing less. One man you had a good battle with was Sam Johnson, who eventually went on to win it. Yeah. He did a dance to Mr. Bojangles that was just beautiful. He's an actor in Australia, and Samuel was amazing. Yeah. He robbed. Um, I mean, pipped at the post, let's say that. <laughs> Bab, you lus. Are you doing the next series as well? I am indeed, yes. And of course, it's filmed in Melbourne, so I'm going to have a great time. Fantastic Thank dance. You. What I love about Australia is it's vivacious, it's fun, it's really naughty. <laughs> and that's just the Australian way. Craig, we exported him.